Hey guys, it's Mother Crow here again with another weekly tarot video. This is for everybody, um, and I do it by Elemental Zodiac Signs. Uh, it's a little chilly today, so I'm not going to get the natural light that I wanted to get uh, and do this video outside. Like I do every week, uh, it's broken down by Elemental Zodiac Signs. So there'll be three cards for fire signs, three cards for water signs, three cards for earth signs, three cards for air signs. Alright, and I always start with fire, because I'm a fire sign, and I like to see how my week's going to go. Let's get started. So, first up is fire signs, and we're starting with the moon. Oh, I'm using the Justice League Tarot, by the way. This was my first deck and one of my favorite decks. Um, the moon. Okay, so the moon is all about, like, shining light onto situations that were, like, dark or scary before. Like, maybe you had some anxiety last week with the tower card. I know I did. The moon is saying that, you know, it's not as bad as it seems. Maybe you can see it in a new light. Maybe that lesson from last week was really important. Like, it wasn't just a hard time. It was, there's a lesson in it, you know? Um, we also have the page of pentacles. It's Blue Beetle. I love him. He's a good character. Page of Pentacles is about having like power at hand or the finances at hand. Everything you need is in your hand, ready to start your uh, your journey with like finances or with business. So it's a good sign of starting a new job. It's a good sign of getting paid if uh, you've had a little bit of time off from being paid. I know that with the government shutdown right now in the United States, that a lot of small businesses are starting to hurt. Okay, because first the government employees hurt when they weren't getting paid. Well, now they're not paying small businesses like they used to. You know, they're not buying the stuff they used to. So a lot of small businesses are being hurt. And it's just a trickle-down effect to, you know, really hurt our economy. But that Ace of Pentacles might be saying that it's finally over. You're going to get something this week. Something good is coming, you know. Um, the Four of Pentacles says you need to be greedy, though. Whatever you get this week, hold on to it. Don't just go out and spend it right away. Okay, you need to hold on to it because you never know um, what next week brings or what next month brings. You know, there's still a lot of negativity in uh, the air and you need to be cautious. Okay, so get the money that you earned and you deserve. Be cautious with it. Don't just go out and spend it right away. Okay, that's it for fire signs. Moving on to, uh, I'm going to do air signs this time. I haven't mixed it up like that in a while. So, air signs next. And I'm doing that because my baby, my little Aquarius baby, turns one this week on the 25th. And he's an air sign. So, I'm going to do his sign next. My little air baby. Air signs. Ooh, ten of wands. The Ten of Wands is about carrying heavy loads and heavy burdens. And, and uh, while you are at the end of the journey of, of all that struggle and all that hardship on your shoulders, um, it, it weighs on you still. Even though it might be over or it might be past, it's still going to be heavy on your mind and heavy in your thoughts. Um, death card for you guys. This is, uh, death is about, it's really about change. Okay, it's not really, it's not really a physical death. Nobody's going to die, so don't freak out. Um, it's really about a, a, a change, a drastic change. So it's interesting because tens, tens are endings as well. So you've got the ten of wands and then the death card as well for you guys, air signs. So it's definitely, something is coming to an end for sure. And it was something that was really hard and you're ready for it to end. And you've got the seven of cups. And the seven of cups is about opportunities opening up. Um, gifts, everything, like, uh, lots of options to choose from of where to go next. And it's a great emotional awakening. Next up we have, uh, water signs. I was going to say cups. <laughs> but water signs is next. Let's see what's going on for the water signs. There's definitely a lot of ending themes, like with the fire signs and with the, um, air signs. So we'll see if water's got some endings too. Okay, four of cups. Um, the four of cups is about taking a break and uh, resting, thinking, meditating on what you need to do next. Um, it's definitely a, there's definitely a theme of taking a break and resting uh, with the four of cups. 
and for you guys water signs this week the queen of swords is about like this boss energy uh this is Panda waller who is like the the scariest villain in all of the dc universe in my opinion because she has all the control and all the power um she doesn't have to be a villain she, she's she's she goes back and forth like she's technically is like um an anti-hero because uh, she's not really evil but she she has so much power and uh, she controls everyone. So the Queen of Swords is definitely about controlling yourself and, and getting into that boss mode and saying like, um, if, if it's something you don't need, get rid of it, you know, don't hang on to it. Uh, you also have the Wheel of Fortune, like this two-face. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is about luck changing. Uh, if you've had really bad luck, this is good luck coming. If you've had really good luck, this is bad luck coming. It's about changes in your luck and in your karma. Okay, so that's it for um, water signs. Now, last up is earth signs. Okay. Really love this deck. Earth signs. And I think this one's going to be a little shorter than usual because I'm doing like really short depth meanings and definitions. It's just. Earth signs. Mm -hmm. The High Priestess. It's a cat woman right there. I love this card. It's one of my favorite High Priestess cards out of all my decks. It's one of my favorite. Um, the High Priestess is a, a, like being aware, being spiritual, you know, uh, using your intuition, using your gifts, um, knowing that there is more to life than what you see like it's not just what's going on in front of you you have you know that there is like a uh, fate at hand you know a little bit of it not not let's say saying fate is everything you know but there is always a little bit of fate a little bit of science behind everything that happens you know it's more than just what you see the ace of wands for you earth signs is about again it's about having power at hand but this one is not just not financial um Power like the other ace I pulled. This one is like the the power to take action, to do things. You have that spark that you know uh, some. You have that spark, that energy that you need to get your tasks done this week. You know, the nine of wands for you Earth signs. The nine of wands is about like building yourself like a barrier or protection, um, building up something. It's in order to take down your enemies, you have to build up a little bit of a, uh, a fence or a barrier, if you will. Or maybe you're building your army, you're, you're thinking of what to say or what to do. But because it's wands, it's more of an action. You're taking physical action to uh, block out the negativity that has been in your life uh, lately. So like you're unfriending people or you're... Um, It'd be like for me, like it'd be weeding my garden. That's taking action against things I don't need. You know, that's it for this week. Please subscribe to my channel. This is the Justice League Tarot. It is one of my favorite decks.